What is up guys, Alex here back with another Cinema 4D tutorial and today of course we're going to be making 3D text in Cinema 4D. Now I know there's already been a lot of tutorials on YouTube on how to make 3D text uh, but as far as I've seen none of them really explain the specifics of making 3D text even though it's pretty straightforward. So I'm going to show you guys how to make 3D text using two methods. One of them is using the MoGraph text and the other is using the text spline with the um, extrude NURBS. So the first way I'm going to show you is with the text spline. So if you go into your spline box right here, you want to go ahead and click and hold on it until a menu pops up and select the text spline. Now with the text spline, it's not an actual object. What it is, is uh, what I like to call sort of a blueprint for a 3D model because it's not an object yet, but it's going to be a shape for an object. So if you go into your object attributes, uh, you have your text, you can edit it. So let's say 3D text here, and of course, you can choose your font. So if you select this menu, you can choose what font you would like your text to be. And also, you can align it either to the middle of the z axis, to the left of it, or to the right. You can change the scale of it, increase the spacing between each letter, and increase the vertical spacing between each line of text. Now there isn't a whole lot you can do with this because after all it's only a text line and I'll explain the difference between MoGraph and text lines uh, later on throughout the video. So to make it a 3D text, you go into your extrude NURBS or your add hyper NURBS object which is right next to the spline palette. Click and hold on it and select extrude NURBS. Now we need to make this extrude NURBS and the text a child slash parents relationship, uh, meaning that you need to make the text a child of the extrude NURBS. And to do that, you get the text and drop it directly on top of the text or actually the extrude NURBS and if you drag and hover over the extrude NURBS you should have a downward arrow indicating that you want to make it a child of that object. So once you drop it in the text will now of course be 3D and if you go into your extrude NURBS into the attributes manager you can see that you have a lot more options compared to the only the uh, text editing options on the text line. So over here in the extrude NURBS you can change the caps and what caps do basically is kind of flatten out the edges of your text. So if I go to the start cap and make it a fillet cap, it'll flatten out the edges in order to create more polygon faces around the text and I can increase the radius to make that um, polygon faces around the edges much more bigger and for the steps what these do is the more steps you add to these edges the smoother the um, fillet caps will be so right now you can see it's curved and if I set the steps back to one it'll be flat So that's all there really is to making 3D text using this method. Now I'll show you the way to make 3D text using MoGraph. So if you go into your MoGraph and you go all the way down, you, could, you should see Mo Text. I'm going to go ahead and select that. And as you notice, the text is already a three dimensional object. So you don't need to add any extrude nerves to it. As you see, it has the same text editing object like the spline text, and it has the caps as well without adding the extrude NURBS. So, again, this is all pretty straightforward. You got the text editing options, the font, the alignment, and the height, um, and also the caps. Now, if you want to go ahead and add a material onto it, of course, you go into your material manager, create new material and select color that you want 
and you just drop it onto your text. Now if you want a two color text with one color in the inside and then one color as the outline of the text, what you need to do is go into your text object, go into caps, and select fillet cap for both the start and end. And you need to create another material, make sure it's a different color, and then drop it onto the text again and you'll have two material tags now for the color of the outline you want to select the color and in your attributes manager you should have the texture and in the selection tag you want to go ahead and press R1 and press enter and the R1 will be uh, the tag for the texture and it will tell the text that you want this color or this texture to be the outline of the text while the other color is the base color for the text object. Now the main difference between MoGraph text and the text line with the extrude nerves is that the MoGraph text is more oriented for different effectors and effects. So if I click on MoTeX, I'll show you a quick example. And I go to MoGraph and go to one of the effectors. Um, I can apply different kind of effectors or effects to it. Now, as opposed to the text line, I can't um, add any effects to it because it's not oriented for those type of animations in Cinema 4D. So, if you ever want to use a regular text and you don't want to apply any animations to it, you can use a text line. Um, of course, if you do want to animate your text you you would use the MoGraph text but in my opinion I think MoGraph text is um, better for all purposes whether or not you're animating your text so always use MoGraph text um, the text line is just another way to make 3D text so that's how you make 3D text in Cinema 40 I hope you guys like this tutorial and I'll get to uh, the basics of 3D modeling in my next few tutorials so Watch out for that, so please comment and like the video, and if you have any more questions, feel free to ask me down in the comments down below, and I will see you guys next time.